who does not love french fries? Like when you're riding home, you eat everyone else's, and then you still take the full one? That's me. So today we're making sweet and savory air fryer maple glazed carrot fries. Say that five times fast. Before we dive in, go ahead and subscribe to Flavor Maker so you don't miss out on more of me or, you know, like recipes too. The trick to this is using an air fryer to get that perfect crispy fry texture. But if you don't have an air fryer, don't worry, there are some oven options too. We're gonna make a quick seasoning mixture here. So we're gonna start out with some cornstarch and that's gonna help encourage that crispy texture. McCormick cinnamon. You can be a little generous here because this is our main star of this flavor profile. We have some ginger, which is really warm and adds a little zing and spiciness to the mixture as well. And we have some onion salt, which is just gonna give you some saltiness with a little kick. It's gonna give you some more flavor. Last but not least, we have white pepper. So once we add that in, we wanna go ahead and give it a whisk and just make sure everything's all incorporated so that we have even flavor throughout. Take a tablespoon of that and we're gonna reserve it for later. We have a really fun thing we're gonna do with this. And now we can actually season our carrots. Um, here I have a bowl of carrots, and if you have pretty new carrots, feel free to just wash them and then cut them. But if your carrots are a little bit older, go ahead and peel them. Just make sure you cut off the top and bottom so you're not peeling all the way to the edge and doing more work than you need to. So I cut them into four inch sticks, about a half an inch thick, just like this. And having them even really encourages them cooking the same way. You wanna make sure that all of your fries have maximum crispiness and we don't have any soggy ones in the bunch. So we're gonna add in our seasoning mixture. And the star of this is bacon, because who doesn't love bacon? Now, if you are a vegetarian, you can go ahead and leave this out. You really wanna make sure that all of the bacon and the carrots get evenly coated with this mixture. So now that we have all of our bacon and our carrots coated with the seasoning, we're gonna put them in the air fryer. So just make sure that your air fryer basket is sprayed with nonstick spray to keep them from sticking. And we're gonna put these in on an even layer. And you wanna make sure that they're not crowded so that we can get good crispy bits. If you can't get an even layer, work in batches. It's okay, just try not to eat the ones that are already done before you get to the next batch. Okay, before we put these back in, hey guys, where's my spray? <laughs> So we're going to spray this with nonstick cooking spray. And this is gonna to help to encourage that crispiness. And then we just simply put them back into the air fryer. Now we wanna cook these on 380 degrees for eight minutes. And then you wanna take them out and shake them and then cook them for another five minutes or longer, but just looking for that brown and crispiness. And the bacon should be crispy at that point too. Okay, so our carrots are almost done. So we wanna go ahead and make that maple glaze I told you guys about, cause that's in the title of the recipe. Yeah. Take that reserved seasoning mix that we made and get all of that in there cause that is extra flavor. And we're just gonna whisk this around with the maple syrup. And we wanna make sure that we get all of the lumps and bumps out so that we have a really smooth sauce. And once you mix this, we're just gonna put it in the microwave for one minute and stir it back up. All right, so our maple glaze is finished. It's nice and thickened and that's the texture that you want. And I can smell the carrots from here. I know that they're ready, so let's take those out. Oh man, these are perfect. They have just the right amount of crispy texture. You can see the browning on top and that bacon looks so crispy and they smell amazing. So I'm definitely gonna be sure to hold this basket bottom in so it doesn't fall out on your plate. Not that I would know that that happens or anything. Well, you know, be more careful than that. All right, so we got that out and I'm gonna rescue this piece of bacon because that's bacon. <laughs> Then we want to go ahead and take this maple glaze because you worked so hard on it and we're gonna drizzle that on top. Oh, that looks so good. And if you're not being watched, you can also go ahead and lick the spatula like I want to. So we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle some parsley. And technically, anytime you add green, it kind of makes it a salad, okay? Don't, I'm not a nutritionist though, so don't take my word for it. <laughs> so here are our maple glaze air fried carrots with bacon, they look so good and I cannot resist, I have to give it a taste. That is super good. The carrots are sweet just enough and the maple glaze really brings that in. The bacon, as you can see, it's so crispy and all those spices just warm it up. I'm gonna go ahead and eat all of these carrots and you make sure you go and like and subscribe to McCormick on YouTube so you can check out all the other Flavor Maker videos.